coming at to you live from the most weird video recording locations that I could think of. Don't ask. Yes, I'm technically outside. I'm still on vacation. It's why I didn't make a video about the Canucks lost to the Lightning last night. But I had to make a video about this because this could be the very first domino that falls for the 2022 trade deadline. We have ourselves a trade between the Anaheim Ducks and the Colorado Avalanche, which sees Josh Manson, Anaheim guy. He's been there for a long time. He's got a good taste in video games. I remember him from those puck personality videos, but he's on his way to the Colorado Avalanche in exchange for a 2023 second round pick and prospect Drew Hellison out of the Boston College system. Now, let's start off with Josh Manson here first, get into what he's about. He's a guy, and he is a pretty good shutdown defenseman. Now, I know what you're thinking. All right, Colorado, they're a pretty flashy defensive team. And I say flashy defensive team because they've got Samuel Girard. They've got Devon Taves really coming into his own this year. Of course, they have Kael McCarr. Good defensemen on this team that know how to rush the puck and that know how to do things in the offensive zone. Manson is not really like that. He's a lot more of a PK specialist, a lot more of a big minutes, big body check, big physical presence as a literal defenseman on the blue line kind of player. And so this is a really nice complement to what I believe the Colorado Avalanche are building on their decor. This could be the guy to come in here and play some big minutes to relieve Kale McCarr or any of the other big name offensive guys that they have of those minutes. He can play PK, he can play in defensively, sound situations at the last minute. He's a pretty clutch guy. Now, he has had a few seasons in the past where he had gotten a few more points than you would have expected. That 30 assist season comes to mind right away, but you're not really gonna get too much production out of Manson, which is okay because you have so many other defensemen on Colorado that can get points that you don't really need this new guy to come in here and do that as well. You saw Gabriel Landeskog going on the LTIR, or excuse me, I believe he's already on the LTIR. By the way, yeah, it's raining out here. So I don't know if that's thunder that you're hearing or a big truck going on in the outside. It might be a mix of both, but Gabriel Landeskog, knee surgery, sucks to see. LTIR, there is some room here for the Colorado Avalanche to go out and start building these pieces. Who knows if a Claude Giroux is next? Who knows if any of these other forwards, a Max Domi or something is next? But the first domino has fallen and it is indeed Josh Manson. All it costs them is a 2023 20, second, which I get it's 2023. 20, we don't really know where that's gonna be, how that's gonna project, whatever. It's in a year, we're gonna talk about it then. But Drew Hellison is a prospect getting sent over to Anaheim in this trade as well. Now he was a second round pick back in 2019, but the thing with Hellison is that he actually played with the NTTP back in that 2019 season. He was a defenseman right side. He played on a pairing with Mark Vlasic, or excuse me, Alex Vlasic. That is Mark Edward Vlasic's cousin, I believe, or nephew, one of the two family member, let's just say. So Hellison, back with the NTTP in 2019, Trevor Zagras teammate, by the way, was a pretty good shutdown defenseman. But a really weird thing happened with Hellison when he started out his college career. He started holding onto the puck more. And as a result, you started seeing this guy gain a little bit more confidence, actually start skating in the offensive zone. And now you look at what he's doing this season with BC. He's got himself, what is it, like 25 points in 30-something games? He's a right-handed defenseman. He's 6'3". He's big. He's defensively capable. He's got two-way ability to his game. But he has started to really blossom offensively. I saw a lot of Anaheim Ducks fans maybe saying, okay, what the heck is this return? Manson is a good player. He's been on our team for a long time. How did we not get a first? I'm going to tell you right here, man, the second round picture you're getting in 2023, as well as Hellison, I think that value is a little bit more than a first round pick by itself. So I do think this is a good trade for the Anaheim Ducks and what they're trying to do. They lost last night again in regulation to, I believe it was the Islanders. And so their playoff odds have just been going down, 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 down as the season has gone on, or excuse me, not as the season has gone on, but like the past few weeks have gone on. They actually were in a playoff spot earlier in the year, but lo and behold, sometimes teams go back down to earth. Who really thought? But either way, Anaheim is now starting to sell. Josh Manson is gone. He's going to be going over to Colorado. We'll see how exactly the Avalanche stack up their team in other ways because they will have some extra cap room to maneuver around that. But if you're a Ducks fan, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this return? 
second round pick as well as Drew Hellison. It's a nice prospect coming over here. Maybe playing behind Jamie Drysdale on the long term is something that you could have in mind. Colorado fans, let me know in the comments what do you think about Josh Manson coming over to your team. Do you agree with my opinion here that he's going to be a good complement to the rest of the defensemen that you have? You have some pretty good offensive ones, but this is a good defensive one coming back the other way. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. My arm is getting tired, so I got to go ahead and leave you with that. And bye.